What's up everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to mesh this two part while maintaining the nice corners. So here I have my IGS file. I will put the link to a similar file in the description so you can follow along this tutorial. So first I'm going to mesh it as a solid part. So instead of using the solid measure or the tetrahedron measure, first I want to mesh this face and then drag the face to make the tube. So go to auto measure. First I will select this one and then I click on this face. Element size, let's say I compute. It will be 50, but I think this is too big. If you mesh, you can see the elements are very big and the corners become sharp. Let's say I reduce it to 10. It will become like this. Okay, and the corners still are sharp. So let's say I make it 1. Eject. Then mesh. So now when the size, when the size is 1 mm, I have smooth corners but i want to i want a better mesh because here in the straight line we have too fine too many elements actually in the straight lines i can have bigger elements so i reject and i select deviation then click on the surface then here i put 10 and 1 these values will give uh, good results in this file but if your file is different maybe you need to play with these two and these two so if I mesh you can see here I have nice corn nice and smooth corners and when the part is straight I have bigger elements but actually here in the corners this type of elements are not very good this triangular elements when I make them solid, they will become pentahedron elements which are not very recommended. So I reject. So I select this one, variable mesh size, select on this surface, then this one 10 and 1, this one 10 and 1, then mesh. Now I accept this mesh. So you can see here, when the straight, when the part is straight, I have bigger elements and when we have corner then the elements become smaller so I close this one I go to element generation I will drag this elements and make my solid element so I go to shell drag select by part and then the thickness is two meters and a half in my case and then the direction is minus x and then create i need to put the segment here if i put one i will have only one element through the x direction as i increase this one i will have more and more elements so in my case i put 100 and then i enter then i have relatively better mesh and then i accept this one all right i go to here can hide the shell and then there you go I have this solid tube in my case what I did right now I use the element generation tool only one time that's why the elements in the X direction is constant let's say I want to make as I'm I want to make this tube for let's say a three-point bending then I want to have the mesh concentrated in some areas if that's the case, then I need to use this element generation tool more than one time. And I already showed how to do this in one of my previous videos. So we are done now with the solid elements. Now let's say I want to mesh this guy as shell elements. So to mesh this one as shell elements, I need to modify the geometry or modify the IGS file. So First, I need to go to surface and then mid surface. Okay, how this tool works, I just click on two surface and then it will generate the middle surface. 
So why I need the middle surface? Because I need to, when I mesh as shell, I need actually the middle surface. So I go this one. Sorry, not this. This. Okay. This one and this one. Okay, then my last face. Then I do the corners now. This one, the inner surface and the outer surface apply. Here the outer corner, the inner corner apply. Here one and two. And then apply. Now if I hide the solid, the original geometry, now I have this green surface. So now I will use this one to generate the shell mesh. So I go to auto measure. Again, I will show with different options. Let's say I take size, uh, let's say I click on this one, this option, and the element size I put 10. Then I click on active and then mesh. You can see here the corners are still not very sharp. You see here one and two I have only two elements so I reject so this time I uh, click on deviation and again here I choose 10 and 1 this depends on your geometry and then I click on active so click on active not on whole why you don't click on whole because we have the solid that is hidden so if I click on hold, then it will select that one also. You can see here the selected geometry. The selected geometry is only 8. But if I click on hold, it will become 26. Meaning the hidden solid is also selected. And we don't want that. So you clear the selection. Then again, select on active entities only. Then you mesh. Then you have it. You can see here. You can see here the corners are very smooth and when it is straight line the mesh becomes bigger and then I accept. So now I hide all the geometry parts and then here I have my tube which is made from shell elements. Okay so now I have both of them overlapping so I just want to move them side by side. I go to element tools, trans transform, translate in y direction. Let's say I put 10, select by part, part number 2, enter. Then I move to the side, move, 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 move. Okay, so now as you can see, this is solid and this is shell. Now I want to apply the thickness of this shell. First, I measure the thickness of the tube is 5 mm. So I go to model, keyword, part, part number three, which is the green one. Okay. Click on this dot. This guy will pop up. New keyword. And then new ID, five and enter, and then accept. Then here also accept. Why I'm assigning this one? Because I want to display the thickness of the shell, which can be done from here. This appearance option and click on thick and then all visible. Now you can see the thickness of the shell part and it is exactly the same. If I look from the front view, you can see they are the same. Okay, now I unclick on this one again all visible now if you click on control and click on the middle mouse you can see that the green tube have some lines okay some lines like this and why is that because this one are not fixed together okay so meaning they're not attached to each other so to attach them you use the show duplicate notes and then merge duplicate notes except now you see they are not there anymore okay 
why this is happening because when we mesh that one when we mesh the when we mesh the shell the geometry the surface was not linked together okay so now that's how you mesh a tube part while maintaining the nice corners okay so now i show the geometry because i want to mesh it again using shell element but here i want to do the approach that many people do and it is not very accurate okay many people especially beginners they go they have their geometry like this and they go to auto measure and they select anything any of these options and then active and then mesh and then they accept and then they see okay the mesh is very fine very nice the corners are very smooth and they think that this is okay okay i hide that i hide the geometry so if you compare like this it might look okay but it's not really okay because this is actually shell meaning this will have inner tube and outer tube let's say i go to f8 and see i want to blank this one you can see here clearly we have two tubes one inside and one outside okay propagate and see you have one tube inside and one tube outside which is wrong but here it is solid so if i hide this guy okay i hide one by one you can see it is solid elements okay so unblank all and i show this is the wrong one i hide it i show this one and this one that's how you do if you want to mesh a tube and maintain the smooth corners this one with solid elements and this one with shell elements so that's all for this short tutorial thank you very much and see you next time bye bye